Well, it looks like my pre-orders from November have arrived, only it's March. Hello and welcome to Seth's Figure Collection, and today we have another figure haul. This is my technically November pre-orders, which is three pop-up parade figures. We're only doing it in March because I got them done by C-Mail, which, yeah, I know they're meant to take one to three months. This took five to six months, but, you know, it's not too big a deal. They're pop-up parade figures at the end of the day, even though for like the last month I've been looking out the window waiting for these figures to arrive just because I want these to arrive before my uh, February haul, just so I wouldn't be filming videos like back to back, it's just a bit easier. Uh, so we have three uh, pop-up parade figures to uh, unbox today, so I'm looking over, I'm looking at the figures excitedly as I'm ready to get these open, because I've been waiting for one of these for quite a while just because I want to see what it's like. Uh, technically there's a fourth figure we're going to show off today, because that was from my October haul. Well, it was one figure, it was my one October pre-order, which was also a pop-up raid. And so I was planning to do my October haul and my November haul combined. And I just haven't shown that figure off on the channel yet. So I thought I might as well just take that figure from October and show it off in this video anyway, because it's a pop-up raid. And I'd already made the thumbnail ages ago and nothing happens to be in the thumbnail. And I don't want to make any thumbnail. So uh, that's the gist of why we're doing it like this. But anyway, let's just get these figures unboxed. And I think we're going to start with the uh, Aaron Yeager Titan form uh, pop-up parade. Okay, so here is Eren, uh, and must say, I actually really like this figure. Best thing about this figure is, it's my first proper braid that doesn't have a base. Well, technically, he has a base here, uh, but he doesn't peg into it, and I'm glad. Uh, I don't think it's a unpopular opinion to talk about proper braid bases being atrocious. I do want to try my hand at making a custom base at some point in the future, so I might video that on the channel, we'll see. But it's nice to see one that doesn't have one. Uh, overall, this figure is a nice looking figure. Uh, from the prototype images, I wasn't too impressed with the sculpt. Like, it looked good, but I was worried that it wouldn't look anywhere near as good in the finished product. Uh, well, when it comes to Erin Pop Up Parades, the track record isn't great. You will know the figure I'm talking about. But uh, overall, I am really actually impressed. Uh, I love the detailing on the muscles, I think it looks great. The face looks good too, the hair sculpt's pretty good overall for a... I can't remember the price of pop-up braids, what is it, 3,000, 200 yen? Anyway, whatever the pop-up braid price is, I think this is good and definitely one of the better pop-up braids. Like, I know pop-up braids vary in quality. So far, I don't think I've had a bad quality pop-up braid. I haven't had, like, the Eren or any of, any of the fake ones I know are the most popular. So far, I've been quite lucky and I'm quite a big supporter of pop-up braids only because I've only had good ones so far, but this is another example of a good pop-up parade in my books and does have a base which makes it so much better. There isn't really any major paint perfection as far as I can see, just due to the way it's painted. Uh, it's painted, I don't really know the words right, but you'll see in B-roll, it makes paint perfections not as notable and if anything it makes them blend in with the way that it, the skin is painted, which is cool, it's a good way to avoid those kind of issues. Yeah, overall I'm very happy with this figure. It's my first Attack on Titan figure, uh, and I'm very pleased that this is it because it's a really good looking figure. I'm really hoping Pop Up Ray does an Armored Titan as well to go with this. I'm not sure about the other Titans, like, I think Beast Titan would be pretty cool, but like, I don't really see how Pop Up Ray could do, like, I don't see him doing Colossal Titan or Warhammer Titan, Draw Titan, Cart Titan, you know. I feel like I'm missing a t Titan there. Uh, Family Titan? Is that all of them? Anyway, I don't think, I think they might do Armored Titan but I don't think they do the rest, just a gut feeling. Uh, they've also announced, you've probably seen recently, the giant size version of this, which is gonna be like a one fourth scale type size, and that's gonna be huge. From what I've seen people say, it would take up one whole detail shelf, which would just be enormous. And I was, when I saw that, I'm, I'm not gonna buy it, uh, just to say that, I'm, there's no way I'm buying that, but I was a bit worried because I didn't have this figure yet, but I was looking, I'm like, Based on the detailing, just if you upsize this detailing, I don't think it, it would look a bit bad, but it's a lot better detailed than I thought this figure would be. It's quite a solid piece actually as well now I'm holding it, but yeah. So I was worried that if you just upsize it, it wouldn't look very good, but my fears have been a bit uh, alleviated because I think actually the giant size version of this will look really cool. I'm not buying it because it'll be expensive and if I'm getting like a one fourth size figure, I might, I'd rather get uh, a Belfine, not Belfine, God, uh, Beast Alpha figure, like, 
the ultimate one fourth, in my opinion, is the B style one fourth uh, gill from a uh, Fate Zero. It looks beautiful. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to get that figure because it's really expensive. But like, if I was going to get one fourth, I get that. I would get a giant pop up rate. But we're getting onto a long tangent about the pop up rate large figures. So extra large, sorry, uh, figures. So anyway, let's move on to the next one because the next two figures are both from Gurren Lagann. Okay, so second figure of the video is this Simon from a Gurren Lagann pop-up raid. Uh, yeah, ugly base, but at least it's the black base. I don't mind the black and the clear bases as much. They're not, you know, they kind of blend into the background. Like if it's a black base in like a black shelf, it looks fine. If it's a clear base in a detail, it looks good, so you don't really notice them. So I'm glad that both of these Gurren Lagann ones have this. I'm really hoping Yoko does too and doesn't have a red one, but she probably will. Uh, yeah, because Yoko should be coming in the Jan and the February haul. So I was a bit worried that these two wouldn't turn up before Yoko and that would have been weird, but luckily they've arrived in time. Now, before I get to talking about the figure itself, I wasn't going to order these two Gurren Lagann figures. Like, they went up for pre-order and I was like, nah, I'm not going to waste, I'm not going to spend money on these. Then I rewatched Gurren Lagann and I was like, yeah, I'm going to pre-order these. So I ended up pre-ordering the two. And definitely out of the two, I'd say Simon's going to be the less interesting looking just because as much as I love Simon, I probably argue, I, I would be one of the few people that argue he's just as good, if not better character than Kamina. I know, controversial. I love Simon, one of the best players in anime. Uh, but his design isn't the best. Like, I'm glad they went with his uh, younger design and not his post time skip design, uh, because I just think this is more iconically Simon. I love how he has his little drill, and that looks good. I feel there's not much too detailed to it, and it's. Sorry about the noise motorbikes going past but yeah detail wise it's pretty not bland but there's just not much to sim on the design it's a pretty simple design it's pretty hard to get it wrong uh face looks good uh it's it, it really captures the i was gonna say trigger art style but it wasn't studio trigger on the mid green lagoon it was only after the lagoon they're making studio trigger but you, you know what i mean it's the trigger style uh and it looks really good but yeah who, who cares about simon when we got we got we got camera you know one of the best characters in anime, if you ask most people. <laughs> okay, and here is Kamina, and already one of my favorite pop-up raids. He just has such a presence to him, especially with his cape. Like, it gives him a lot of extra size. It's annoying though, because the box is huge. It's the set of Kaiba pop-up raid issue all over again, where because of the cape, and the jacket in the Kyber's case, it just means the box is huge. Uh, it's very annoying, uh, but you know, I, I can excuse it because this is a really good looking figure. I think it comes more just down to the posture with the cape flowing. So I'm at, like, there's just so much adds extra size to this figure. It is very annoying because where I was going to put these two, uh, this extra size may limit what I was planning to do with that display. Like that, I'm going to put these two together with Yoko and uh, Ruka when they arrive. So I have a little trigger. I know te Gurren Lagann is technically not trigger, but you know what I mean. Um, we can have that in a little display, but I don't know how it's gonna... I'm gonna have to read you how I'm gonna place these all. Uh, but we've got the beautiful Gurren Brigade... Uh... What's the word? Symbol on his cape. Uh, his tattoos look good. His face sculpt is incredible. It screams Kamina. You can technically display him without his sunglasses as well, but why would you do that? It's Kamina. His glasses are like one of the best parts of his design. And I think, yeah, it, it just looks really good. I think together, these two look really great. And I can't wait to display them together. Uh, out of the three this today, Kamina is my favourite so far. Because it's Kamina at the end of the day. He's, he's awesome. And I think this pop-up raid really does his character justice. Uh, so it looks like we've had three more pop-up raids, which at least in my opinion, are good quality. Uh, so I'm still yet to get one of these bad quality power upgrades. I'm sure it'll happen sooner, sooner rather than later. No, my luck, but I'm really happy with these three. Uh, which means we've only got one more figure to show off, which is the one that arrived in October, but I thought I'd show it off nonetheless.
Hello, Past Seth here. Sorry, I've got a cold at the moment, so excuse me if I sound a bit hoarse in this part of the video. But uh, since, as I said, this package arrived weeks earlier than the rest of the pop-up parades, I just filmed this bit early because I'm impatient. I can't wait weeks to open a figure when it's right in front of me. So the first figure we have to unbox today in our pop-up parade hall is the Sukasa Yuzaki uh, bridal figure from Tony Kawa. Uh, now, I haven't opened it yet, but I have seen uh, the complaints about this figure. I mean, by the time this video comes out, everyone should probably know about the complaints. There's a lot of complaints for this figure. First, and the biggest one is the base, which I'll show you what people mean when I get her out of the box. Also, apparently, like, there's not been much quality control. A lot of them have had imperfections, just chipped paint, and apparently the face doesn't look particularly good either. Uh, in the box it looks alright but like I haven't opened it so I'm just saying that there are definitely issues with this figure that people have mentioned so I'll see if I agree with them or not so uh, we've got loads of figures to get through in this video so let me just get it open and then check her out and here she is out of the box first of all she's huge like well the figure itself isn't massive but if you look at the size of her dress compared to like her like a lot of volume she was originally going to go behind me uh, on the Madaka box Rizura shelf. She might still fit, but I'm starting to think she probably won't. So she will probably have to end up in the other unit over there, which is a bit annoying because uh, I don't really have a space for her. Um, I mean, I have a space right now, but like it's a space that is meant to be for another figure in the future. Uh, but you know, we'll work out the future. Uh, so overall. I think she looks quite nice. As just from afar, the figure looks nice. I do agree with a lot of the complaints. This has a lot of paint imperfections. I'll get some uh, close-ups of it, but there's little black paint scratches all up the dress, right down the bottom. Yeah, just just there's a lot of uh, little scratches and stuff. From afar, it looks fine. Up close, not the best. People say the face doesn't look particularly like Sukasa. I think it does. I don't think it's a million miles off. I don't think it's the best Sukasa figure you could have. But I think it looks fine. Tony Cow is a series I really enjoy. And just having a Tony Cow figure is really nice. If there's a Tony Cow scale uh, coming out, I'm not sure if there are any. I assume there probably might be one or two. But if they are, I probably will end up, grab yeah, I probably will end up grabbing them. As I really like the character. I really like how she looks i think it's a nice aesthetic good for a figure this is technically my first bridal figure uh, there's a shinobu bridal figure well, it's a prize figure but i think it looks really nice but like i don't have many bridles not because i've got anything against them it's just i haven't ended up getting any so far but yeah looks nice I, I'm, I'm i'm still happy i brought the figure i wouldn't just not buy it here's the big issue that everyone hates though and if you haven't seen this already prepare yourself yeah i mean to give them props, I still prefer this to the ugly usual pop-up parade bases. You know the ones I mean, uh, the weird hexagonal ones. Uh, I still prefer that, <laughs> but it isn't great. Like I, The main complaint people have is, as you can see, it's just kind of flat, uh, is that they didn't even bother sculpting the legs. And I think that is a fair complaint. I mean, you're not gonna see the legs because she's like this, but it still just feels lazy because especially when the rest of the figure isn't like 100% great, like there's, painted perfections i think it looks fine people say the face doesn't look quite right and then you also have that on top of it it really isn't up to standard you might say uh, i still really like her uh, obviously you don't see the bottom so it doesn't bother me too much but i can understand why people are a bit annoyed that they didn't bother sculpting the legs issue like if it was a prize figure sure but these are meant to be a step up from prize figures so i don't know out of all the proper parades this one feels the most like a prize rather than a pop-up parade, which is a shame because it is a really nice looking figure. It's just there's a lot of technical stuff that really lower it in my ranking. So it's not one of my favorite figures by any stretch of the imagination, but I still really like her and I'm gonna have to find where to put her. So uh, I probably talked about her for way too long. Uh, so uh, back to present day me, uh, checking out the rest of the pop-up parades that have arrived from Amiami.